Turning now to the voters decide. It was a heated debate tonight between two Democrats squaring off in a congressional primary in the Bronx and Westchester. CBS 2's Dick Brennan is here now with more on that. Dick? Christina Maurice, yes, two Democrats, but with plenty of differences. Congressman Jamal Bowman is trying to hold on to his seat, but facing a strong challenge from Westchester County Executive George Latimer. Tonight, neither was pulling any punches. Let's talk about how you rush to the scene to get press coverage when there's a tragedy. <laughs> no, that's exactly right. Yeah, you but laugh. See, you're nowhere to be found. Tonight, an intense face-off between Congressman Jamal Bowman and Westchester County Executive George Latimer, the pair clashing on many issues, including the future direction of Washington. We almost have another President Trump because of the lack of action from my opponent and so many others on these issues. We may have a President Trump because Jamal is good at talking but not good at delivering. Latimer is challenging Bowman in the Democratic primary in New York's 16th Congressional District, a central flashpoint tonight, the Israel-Hamas war. We should not be sending any more weapons at this time to Israel. They are engaged in collective punishment by killing mostly women, children, and babies in Gaza. What the congressman fails to mention in all of this is the role that Hamas has played. It's not merely a simple condemnation of what they did. What they did that day on October 7th triggered everything that has followed afterward. The debate comes in the midst of a looming commuter rail crisis. Just a week after Governor Hochul decided to pause the implementation of congestion pricing, both candidates say the MTA's troubles must be addressed, but neither would give a firm answer on Hochul's move. Do you support the pause, what the governor just did? Well, I, the governor made the pause. It's not up for a debate. Do you support the pause? I need further conversation and further clarity. In a district that includes parts of the North Bronx and Westchester, the pair was asked how to bridge the wealth gap between the rich and poor. We need reparations, first and foremost. My opponent does not support reparations. I support reparations wholeheartedly. And he has a bill that has minimal sponsors, $14 trillion. That's twice the national budget. That's not a serious proposal. On the issue of jobs for the district, the candidates declared where they stood on whether to turn the Empire City site in Yonkers into a full-fledged casino. Yes, wholeheartedly. No, there are many ways to create jobs other than another casino. Now, polling right now gives Latimer the lead, but many voters are still undecided. Both candidates say they will support the winner of the Democratic primary. That's next week. Marisa Christine. Okay, Dick, thank you. And stay with CBS2 for continuing coverage of the campaign. We'll have in-depth coverage of the races and up-to-the-minute results on election night.